Hello friends, welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Now we are in Excel Automation Chapter 13. Today we are going to learn a trick. So the trick is, how do you calculate? So in my background you can see the Excel file. So how do you calculate the sum of all the data in a single column? So you have a product, you have the price, and you have to calculate the sum of all the data in one column and show the grand total just below that okay and remember the condition here is number of data in the column is dynamic so right now you have got somewhere around 13 data so you might even have 15 you might even have 20 so whatever it is it's supposed to write the data the grand total just below that okay so that is the condition so let's see how to achieve that so the very first thing I will do is I'll use the Excel application scope and I'm going to point it to the file. Once you point it, the next activity that we'll be using is a read range activity. Now in the read range, point it to the sheet and let me read the entire data and store the data to a data table. So create a data table control plus K and let me give the name as sample DT all right the data table is created after that use a for each row activity now in the for each row mention the data table that you have created and here is the trick that I need to do now you need to understand how the values are being fetched so to let me show you that how it is fetched so if I use a message box and if I say row slash in this if I say one so what would happen in the Excel file this column index will be zero and this one will be one okay so what it will be doing row one means it's going to read the price column now let me run it and show you if the values are coming properly or not. Okay, so the first value has come as 100, second value 200, so like that it is going to continue to read all the data. So we are able to fetch the data through this row, row in the bracket by mentioning the column name. So as I understood how it works. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to use a assign activity. Okay, and let me create a variable control plus k a and let it be an integer type and let me assign it to the entire sequence. Okay, and then here what I'm going to do a plus so what is that a so a i'll give us default value as zero okay so this default value is zero now so zero plus whatever data is coming so the data will come in the row right so row when you read a data table you need to understand the data is stored as string okay so i have to convert that using c int this is the function that i have to use to convert the string data coming in the row into integer so what i will do here i will simply say okay integer and then i am going to say row in the bracket i will say zero so by that what would happen it is going to give me zero plus the first number so the a value will be something and then okay so the trick is not over yet okay the trick is not over yet so after this what I'm going to do now I need to write this to always because it is a dynamic type kind of a data so when I'm fetching a data somewhere from a website or something when I'm getting all the data this could be 10 12 20 30 40 you don't know the how many numbers you'll get okay so you have to always write just below this whatever the number is there below that you have to write it okay so how to do that is something we need to see okay for that again what I'm going to do I'm going to use another assign activity and let me create an another integer type variable let's say b okay now go to variable 
and here I am going to convert this to integer and apply it to the entire sequence. Okay, all right. So once that is done, I want to fetch the row index. Okay, so row. How do you do that? So you have to first mention the sample dt is your data table dot. You have to remember this. Okay, this is how you need to write it. So let me show you in a bigger screen. Okay, so you have to write sample dt dot rows dot index of. So this is the method which you need to remember. Index of in the bracket. You are inside a for each loop, right? So simply mention row. Clear? Sample dt rows dot index of row. So what would happen? It is going to fetch the row of that which row? Row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. So it is going to mention that, okay. So whatever the data would come from from the, this one, that going to get assigned to B, okay. So let me show you how it is fetching the row number. Then with that we are going to write our logic, okay. So here if I simply say B, so it should show me whatever the row index is. So first data is hundred, right? And then 200. So let's see what is the data and how it is coming. Okay, I forgot to do one thing. So I want to add the numbers which is in row one, right? If you go to the Excel file, it is in the one. So I should not say zero, I should say one. So let me go ahead and change it to one. Okay, so that way I will have the values. Let me use another message box and here let me show the value of A. Okay, so it will it will have a cumulative value. So let me run it. So the first value which has come as zero, and the next one will come the index. So this index is zero. Okay, you need to remember this. So if you see this index is zero. Okay. Now now it is making a sum of two hundred plus hundred three hundred. And this index is one, so like that it will continue. Okay, so it is giving a cumulative of all the numbers. Okay, and it's going to stop at twelve. Okay, so you can see it's starting from zero, then one, then two. Like that, this is the index. Okay, so you need to be very, very careful, and you should understand how the index numbers are coming because that is how you will be manipulating. So the index is twelve. Now, if I have to write in in um, you know this is where I have to write right B fifteen I have to write. So twelve plus three right. So twelve the index number plus three will give you the proper cell. So that is what I am going to do it. Okay. Because the uh, there we have a uh, header also, right? You have a header in one, so it will be three. If there is no header, then it will be two plus two. So if there is a header, it is starting from zero and ending at twelve. If I have to write in B fifteen, then twelve plus three will become fifteen, right? So let's write the logic for that. So let me remove all of this and let's write the logic. So now what I will do? I'll use the write cell activity. Okay, now right cell I'll keep out of the loop. So this is the loop is run now. So you understood why I have kept it to sequence because the value can be carried outside of the for each loop. So that is why I have mentioned A and B to sequence to the entire sequence. Okay, it's not not in the do loop but it is in the entire sequence. Okay, now what I want I want to write it right. So the cell is very important. So here I know. Uh, the data is there in which um, which column right it is in the b column so i know it will be b somewhere in the b so what i will do i will simply change this so this modifying this is very very critical so how will you modify this let's see that so here what i will do i'll say b plus okay now I want to fetch the uh, index. So index is there in this one, right? So what I will do, and this only accepts the string. So what I will do, 
I'll simply say b, b is my variable coming from the assign activity, b plus 3, okay, dot 2 string. So that will, so 12 plus 3 it will become 15. So that way it will work very dynamically because there is no hard coded value, it will work dynamically. So let me show you that demonstration. So I will convert this to 2 string, okay. So that way what would happen, the value is, you know, b plus 3 you know 12 plus 3 15 so b 15 will become b 15 it is going to write that data there so now the value so the value is there in the a right the cumulative value so i will simply say a all right so that way so a dot two string because it's an integer and right cell accepts only string so simply say a dot two string okay so we have written the entire logic now now let's see how it is going to work dynamically so right now this is the data so let me run it so you should find the total value been written in the a15 okay so you saw the total value the cumulative value of this one which is 11418 has been written over here successfully now let's do one thing what if i am going to add couple of more data will it work I am fetching a data from a website, it might have n number of data, right? I don't know. So if it is in a dynamic situation, it should work. So let's see how to do that. So let me run it again. And the value is supposed to be written over here this time. So you just saw it has written the value. So let's see if the value is correct. Yeah, 14,677. So this is one of the trick. And in the next video, I'm going to show you if your, if your data is there in two different points, right? Let's say 100 or let's say quantity 5. So what is the total amount, right? So you have to 100 into 5 you have to do. So I will create another video for this. So guys, to learn such tricks, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do like the video and comment what you felt about this video and how is this going to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. Have a wonderful day.